Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Aviano and welcome to Gold Rush the game. This game is being kickstarted. Uh, I will leave a link for that in the description below if you want to check it out and help out with the development of this game. It's by Playway. I have to thank them for sending me a Steam key to check it out. Um, and what is Gold Rush the game? Well, it's a gold mining simulator in Alaska. Uh, the menu music is actually quite nice. I had to go in and turn it off just in case, you know, it was copyrighted and all that good stuff. So I didn't want to mess with that. And I went in and turned the graphics all the way up to ultra. So let's see if uh, that was a mistake. We get like 15 frames per second or what. But we're going to start with tutorial mode here uh, before we jump into a new game. So we're going to do season one, day one. We'll click it and we're off. Welcome to the pre-alpha version of Gold Rush. This is a demonstration version of work in progress game and does not reflect the quality of the final product. We are aware it is not a bug free game demo, but we want to get the feedback from the community as soon as possible. All details about quests you can find in the journal tab of your backpack at any time. If you or any of your vehicle ever gets stuck during the gameplay, you can restore it in the tablet tab of your backpack at any time. If you get lost at any time, follow the beam of light. Enjoy the game. Team Code Horizon. There you go. So the team over there at Code Horizon is uh, giving us a uh, little uh, preamble there. Let's hit OK. It says to get in the truck. Awesome. Check this. Oh, whoa. Yeah, we're getting like a solid good 60 frames per second here. That's not bad at all. I'm trying to think of what these graphics remind me of. This kind of reminds me of, uh, of like eh, the Unity engine, but it kind of reminds me of um, Farming Simulator 2017 a little bit. Get into the truck. Check this thing out. It's like a K5 or something. Definitely a Chevy or a GMC. That thing looks badass though. Railroad crossing, stop, check that out. Oh man, look at that old mining thing. Can you zoom? No, it can't zoom. All right, so that's mouse and keyboard. I'm gonna jump over to my Xbox One controller. Oh, check that out. At the very, the UI changed immediately when I did that. See, if I go back to the mouse, it's like Z to show controls, but when I touched the controller, it went to uh, that. That's pretty awesome, I do like that. And the UI at the top right kind of reminds me of a farming simulator as well. Okay, enough dilly dallying. Let's see the controls here. Uh, rotate the camera up and down move dude to do to do Ooh, we can run we can crouch we can jump x is the action good to know and backpack is back so we hit back oh check this out that's the map there whoa that's pretty big journal comes with the parcel that, okay uh tablet it's right there so that's what they're talking about so if you get stuck in any of these things you can restore the machines okay that's actually pretty cool all right we'll back out of that let's get into the truck and go with driving check out the interior of this thing that's pretty awesome. All right, turn on the engine. How do we do that? We uh, turn it on with up. Up on the D-pad. Ooh, that thing sounds good. Uh, we can change the camera. We can, okay, right click on the stick to change the camera. We have a, we're in a fixed camera view here. We can click it again. And now we can move about. That's pretty cool. It's kind of like a GTA style there. Awesome. Um, uh, we have the parking brake on. I can see that in red. Parking brake is... Okay, yep, there it is. A. Handbrake. Alright, well, let's go to the parcel, wherever that is located. Oh, there's the beam of light. Remember, when in doubt, follow the beam of light, they say. Let's see what these, uh, physics are all about. Ooh, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I love the paint job on this truck. That is awesome. The old, uh, matte finish camo job on it. Even the, the the door has better paint than parts of it. That is pretty sweet. Check this out. Uh, where's our camera? Oh yeah, there's our interior view. I like the way the truck drives. It's pretty nice. Oh, look at that. That's like a, looks like a Peterbilt or something over there. Let's drive this little uh, muni, this mining community. That is like a Dodge Charger. Looks like it's had better days. It's all beat up. Uh, that is, looks like a Dodge Ram of some sorts and a Chevy Caprice. All right, let's continue on. We need to get to the parcel, as they say. Uh, there's a truck here on the right, too. What's, what end is that? It looks like another Ram. It really does. Yeah, that's definitely a Dodge Ram. And more over there on the right. Very cool. A repeat of the vehicle models there. Looks like everybody just drives a shitty truck or car to work every day. They work at that mining facility. All right, what else we got here? We've got headlights right on the D-pad. Look at that. Thing is struggling. We have, oh, we have a, uh, a differential lock that's down the D-pad. Oh, there we go. Oh, now it's taking it like a champ. Perfect. 
All right, so we're going to go to the parcel down here, whatever that means. Ooh, come to a stop. And all right, we did that. Head toward the waterfall. All right. Can we get around that? Okay, I don't know what that was hitting. That was strange. We'll head towards the waterfall down here where the beam of light is. Oh, look at all this down here. I like the forest. That's pretty cool. Little log cabin on the left. I don't know what the hell that is. It's like a fuel depot or something. No idea what that thing is. Pick up the metal tub, they say. All right, well, I'm going to drive this all the way into the camp. No need for all of that. Let's stop here. Pull the parking brake. You know what? I want to check. Let's see if uh, the parking brake, if, if I can get out of the truck. Let's see. Because you can, I can get out. Oh, yes, 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 you can. You can, can. Oh, shit. Oh, no. My truck. It's going to go. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to go into that river. Okay. Well, now we know that that, yes, you have to pull the parking brake on a hill. Because some games, you know, they just, they don't model that. They just, you can just jump out and it stays put. All right. Stays put, stay put. Whatever. Um, Pick up the metal tub. Rub-a-dub-dub. Look at that. That's nice. I like the sounds of like a loony bird or something out there. Look at this big ass thing. Reminds me of like one of those galvanized buckets that you can bathe in if you live out in the middle of nowhere. Lower the metal tub into the river to fully fill it with water. All right. Oh, there we go. Go back to the tent. All right. We'll go back to the tent. This guy uh, walks pretty cautiously with this entire... Well, I would too, you know. It's a pretty big bucket of water. All right. Uh, X, right? That was action. Yep. All right. Pick up bucket with gold. Okay. So that's got gold in it. Gold in them there's buckets. All right. We'll use that. And... Oh, nice. Okay. That wasn't very much in there. Like It looked like there was a lot more in there than what actually fell out. There's just like a bunch of dirt pieces there. Pick up the small pan. Okay. A small frying pan. Use the metal tub with the water to start panning. Okay. Well, I see this. This says to put it here. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. Put it right there. Use. All right. Slowly agitate the water to rinse the earth. Okay. So as you can see, we have some pieces of earth here. Uh, show controls. What we got? Gold take mode is L or click on the left stick. Move right, move in, uh, up and down. Okay, so triggers. Okay, there we go. Water. Oh, sweet. Pour the water. Be careful not to lose your gold. Oh, it's instantly turned into gold. Look at that. We're panning for gold. Panning for that gold. Repeat the process until the water is clear. Okay. Oh, we got some good gold there. Look at that. Oop. Back down the water. Don't drop it into the damn tub. That would be terrible. Repeat the process till the water is clear. Okay, I think that that's probably good, right? Um, well, they said to keep repeating the process, so we're doing that. Oh, we got four pieces of gold now. How much gold is in there? Keep repeating it. I mean, enter gold picking mode. Okay. Uh, that was left. Yeah, click on the left stick. Oh, nice. Pick up the gold fragments. There's one, oh, one right there. Hit A for that. He picks it up. Puts in his little jar. Think I'll take that for later. Oh, there we go. Don't forget about that one. Yep, you. Where are you? Got you. A little suction device there on that one. Yep. Oop, roll it that way. There we go. Try to get it where I can grab it better. That looks pretty good. What do we got here? One more. The big nugget there. Pan for gold. Leave the gold picking mode. Okay, so left click. We have the earth now. Hook the mobile wash plant to your truck. Park the truck next to the wash plant. Okay, whatever the hell that means. Um, let's go ahead and exit this. Yep, with X. Let's put this pan back over here where we got it. And uh, they want us to go to our truck. So park the truck next to the wash plant. All right, well, there's a big beam of light coming out of the skies. Uh, I'll go around this way. Ooh, the run is actually pretty good. The guy's got a little bit of pep in his step. Hop into the truck. At least that parking brake. Give some gas. Oh, man, that thing climbs a hill like no problem. Oh, those lights. Those yellow lights. That's pretty cool looking. Okay, I guess that's what a wash plant is. This thing right here. Park the truck next to the wash plant. Next to it. Okay. 
Although there's a... Is that on a hitch? Yeah. Do they want us to... Yeah, I think they want us to pick it up with a hitch. That's what it looks like. Back it up nice and slow here. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, careful, careful. Don't want to wreck into it now. Oh, missed it. I think that's what they want us to do. They, maybe they say next to the truck or the watch plane. I don't know what that means. Oh, 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 almost. Pull that parking brake. There we go. It turned yellow. Whatever that means. Yellow use. There you have it. Hook that sucker right on up there. Put the mobile wash plant next to the excavator. Park next to the excavator. There's an excavator here? Oh my god, yes there is. Alright, we'll get in this thing. Park and brake released. And look at that. We're towing this thing. Better physics than farming simulator so far, I've got to say. I mean, kind of similar, but I like the traveling of the suspension. That's pretty nice. Alright, park next to the excavator. There's, There it is over there. Bright orange excavator. Come to a stop here. I guess they want it on the dot, maybe? Oh, yep, yep. All right. Oh, shit. Nope. Got to pull that, uh, got to pull that parking brake. There we go. Detach the wash plant from the truck. All right, we'll do that. Off she goes. Get into the truck. Take the truck to the tent. All right. Well, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of tasks. It's like mundane tasks simulator 2017 here. Like, take the truck to the tent. Go do this. Go do that. The tent. This thing? Okay, it wasn't the tent we were at before. It's this shed thing over here. All right, pull our truck up this way. Pick up the mobile generator. I'll pull our parking brake there. The mobile generator. Oh, man. Check this thing out. You sure you could handle this by yourself, bud? God, I get no team lift today. Um, how we can put this in the truck? Oh, you know what? Yep. Okay. I was about to say, how do we put that in there? And in you go. That's not in there all the way. Can, okay, just pulls it back forward. In you go. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Yeah, just j when in doubt, jump. There you go. Is that what you wanted? Oh. Drop it right there. Oh, there we go. Drop it like it's hot. Grab the electricity cable with the blue plug. With the blue plug. Well, that one's got a blue plug on it too. But this is the one they want, apparently. Unless they have two of them. Put the cable on the truck's bed. All right. I'm just going to jump up in here and drop it. That's one way to do it. Pick up the bucket. Pick up the bucket. There's two there. All right. Let's throw this guy in here as well. Oh, that worked out pretty good. Get in the truck. I'm going to put the tailgate up. I don't want that shit falling out, so I have to put it back in again. Take the truck to the mobile wash plant. Okay, release parking brake. Oh, that thing went flying back immediately. All right, so that's good to know. The objects uh, are loose in the back of the bed. So that makes sense why he has those huge runners on the side. He doesn't want his shit falling out. That is a big-ass cable, man. A mobile wash plant. Are we going to wash the truck? All right, come to a stop here. Put the generator next to the wash plant. And put about right there. There we go. All right. Open that up. We don't want that. We want the Jenny. Man, he, this guy would be breaking his back today. I'm not going to lie. Okay, where you want it at? Here? Connect generator and wash plant with the electricity cable. Okay, I guess I was happy with that. Take you. What do we got? Blue on blue. Whoop. Boom. What the hell is this? Invisible. Oh, it's a cable. Connect generator and wash plant with the electricity cable. That's blue. That makes sense. All right. Turn on the generator. Uh, it would be that red switch right there. If I can grab it with the controller's a little sensitive. There we go. Oh, nice generator sound. Put the bucket under the mobile wash plant. Okay. We got this bucket. It goes here. All right, we did it. Now what? Connect the water pump to the mobile wash plant. Get in the truck. All right. We gotta hook up our water pump on our truck. The hell are they talking about? Take the truck to the tent. All right, well, we're about to find out what they're talking about. Back at the shed again. 
they're gonna have us do multiple trips. We could have taken this all in one t one uh, swing. Well, I guess it's just not that much room in in the truck. Oh, skirt, skirt. Boy, this is actually quite fun. Pick up the water pump. All right, I'm getting the hang of the controls now. Oh my God, look at that thing. Well, I guess if this man, if, if he can grab the, uh, no, let's put the tailgate down. If he can grab the other thing by himself, the generator, he can easily get this water pump up in there. I can just imagine how heavy this is for this guy to carry. There we go. Grab the red hose. All right, that's a big ass hose, man. That's a big ass hose. Up in it goes. We'll drop it off right there. Oh, that looks like it's gonna ride there good. Grab the green hose. Okay, grab the garden hose. You got it. You got it, boss. Garden hose away. Grab the water filter. Man, there's a lot to this. If we have to like memorize all this for that free mode, it's gonna be insane. All right, hop up in here. Drop the water filter down, get in the truck. I love how it's just like, it doesn't even say please. It's just like, get in the truck now. Take the truck to the waterfall. All right, we'll go to the waterfall. I'm not really sure what this is all about though. I mean, is this a, a, la a large elaborate scheme to, to the waterfall? All right, here maybe? Oh, up here. Oh, okay, I see where they want us to go. It's like an elaborate scheme to wash the truck. Surely this has got to be something else here. Open that up. Put the water pump next to the river. Okay. We can do that. We'll run with it. This guy is strong, dude. Look how fast he can run with a water pump. Here? Okay, they're happy with that. Pick up the water filter. Water filter. That was that big ass thing right here. Yep. Got it. That, why does it turn yellow? Connect one side of the red. Oh, the red hose. Okay, that makes sense. The red hose. Use. There we go. Connect red hoses in without the water filter to the water pump. I'm going to pick this up. I think they want us to go over here with this thing. What are you hitting? Oh, a stump. A little stumpy. Okay. Guess this one here, because that's the one that has the yellow on it. We'll use that. Bam, got it. Whoa. Throw the second side of the red hose in the river. Throw it in the river. You got it. Let's come down here. Walk into the water. Did we just drop it? Yep. Whoa. Check that out. That's awesome. Connect wash plant and water pump with the green hose. The wash plant? That's way over there. That hose is not long enough for that. I mean, I mean look at that. That's that's the tightest coil I've ever seen if, it's, if we can make it over to there. Yeah, with the green hose, it says. This is yellow right here. Yep, there's a yellow thing right there. Whoop, can't see. You? Use. To the wash plant? Really? Do they want us to go all the way over here? Oh, look at that. It draws the line where you're running the hose. That's pretty cool. I guess, with, yeah, they, there's the beam of light. They want us to take it all the way over here. Oh, yeah, this is just, this is a long hose. It was just tightly coiled. We'll just, we'll go with that. We'll just have to go with that. All right, connect wash plant and water pump with a green hose. This thing right here. Got it. Turn on the water pump. Oh, way over there. Okay. Yeah, look at that. That is pretty cool. It remembers where you uh, drop the hose at. That is actually quite, quite neat. Yeah, because we made that little turn there. Remember when we were looking behind us? That is, that's good detail there. All right, turn on the water pump. We can do that. What do we got here, a button? Ooh, classic pull start. Oh, that wasn't very much. That was kind of anticlimactic. I wanted to just yank it. Get in the truck. Okay, sir, yes, sir. Get in the truck. Tailgate up first. In the truck we go. Park and brake off. Head towards the mobile wash plant. You got it. You got it, boss. Right over here. Woo! Oh, I wish there was a guy inside the truck. That's kind of weird that there's not. Okay. Here? Start up the mobile wash plant. Oh, because now it has water 
to it. That button right there, big red button. Whoa. That is cool. Get into the excavator. Oh, we have to drive that? Amazing. A Minotaur XM270. Ur Mining XM270. Is that a real uh, company, Minotaur? It looks like Hitachi to me. That's what it uh, reminds me of. All right, let's get into this guy. Oh, check this out. Turn on the engine. Okay, I assume it's the same as the truck. Yes, it is. Show controls. Holy shit, there's a lot of stuff here. Headlights. Oh, that's cool. You have working lights. Handbrake is A. Oh, yep. I'm going to release that. Dig for gold. Oh, man. Operator mode. What do we got here? Outside view. Look at this thing. Okay. So that clicking the left is driving the digging. Oh, all right. Check that out. You see the uh, movement there. Oh, that is badass. All right. Let's go into drive mode. Look at that. Oh, that thing swings. Dig for gold. What are they talking about? Dig for gold. I guess they want us to dig into the ground like right here and put it in that. I don't know. Let's see the inside. Oh, check out that view. They have a, like a, a dig view. Upside down view. Oh, that's like a GoPro of this thing. Look at this. Oh, check that out. It's a GoPro. That is so badass. Well, that way you can see what you're doing. Here's the uh, inside view. Oh, check that out. Whoa. What's the controls here? Oh, look at these controls. Bucket up, bucket down. Oh, that opens it up. Close and open bucket. Big arm up, big arm down. Okay, I assume we just do what we normally do. Or what you would normally do in this. Into the ground. Oh. E-brake. I've completely forgot about that. It got like real dark outside. What's that about? Okay, we got some here. Oh, hello. Okay, and the lights are back on upstairs. Oh, oh. Close. Yep, there's closing the bucket. Oh, let's move to the right. Or the left, I mean. I don't mind. Right from my left. Over here. Whoa. Straight out. Whoa. Oh, you can't open it like that. Okay. Let's try. Oh, to the right. To the right. Whoa. 2% milk. All right, so that wasn't very much dirt. That was not very much dirt at all. I think it's just gonna take a little bit to get used to this thing. We'll have to do that GoPro camera too. That'll be cool. Cause see, you wanna do this and then you wanna bring the arm in, right? Yeah, like that. So it needs to be out and then bring the arm in like this and scoop. Get a big scoop. Two scoops of raisins for a raisin bran. Oh, straight back. Like that. Up, oh, up. Oh. Yeah, I think it's full. Looks like it is. There we go. Let's get that GoPro view. I like that GoPro view. There we go. Because you can see where the bucket's actually at. Oh, there it was. Way out. Oh, it's right there. Oh, that's actually... That works. Pretty good. Oh, okay. I think we missed it by a little bit there, but that's all right. All right, that, maybe that view isn't so good. 10%. Oh, uh, this is going to be a while if they wanted to like 100% or something. Let's dig here. Into the ground. Man, those physics are awesome. I like that a lot. Okay, I got to get remember. I got to get used to that. You got to bring it like that. Scoop hard in there like that. There we go. And close the bucket. All right, bring it over here. And then bring it out. Nope, not yet. Let's go out, out, down and up, down and up. Whoa. And then open. There we go. That's a lot of dirt. All right. This is going to take a while. Keep pouring the dirt into the wash plant. Well, I'll just keep digging here until the next thing happens here. How about that? Okay. There we go. There we go. I'm getting the hang of this thing now. Check this out. You come over here. Go down. Scoop. Big scoop. Just like that. On up. And bring it over here. And then pour it out. Works pretty good. 
Look at that. Got a good system going here. There we go. 68, 69%, 70%. How much dirt do they want from us? Do one more scoop. There we go. Get a good scoop in there like that. Whoa, hello. Yeah, this takes a little bit to get used to these controls. Over there like that. And open it up. There we go. 78%. We're almost to 100. Oh, get in the truck. What? Okay. Get in the truck. Well, I guess we're done with this. Let's go ahead and close that guy. Uh, turn the engine off. Hop out. I think we left the headlights on, but I think they turned off when I turned the thing off. Get in the truck. Okay, well, let's do that. That thing is awesome. That was a lot of fun. That's a good looking truck, man. I like it a lot. All right. Take the truck to the tent. You got it. Parking brake. Duh. To the tent? Which tent? The Oh, the tent tent. The one they keep calling the tent. It's the shed to me. It will always be called the shed in my heart. All right. To the tent. To the tent. To the tent. Could be ultra lazy and just like back it in there since they keep wanting us. What? They want us to pick up that thing? What the hell is that? A magnetite separator. Look at this thing. Talk about team lift gone wrong. All right, let's open up the tailgate. Getting getting the hang of it now. All right. Over here. Hop up. Oh, hop up in there. And drop it. There we go. Grab the electricity cable with the yellow plug. All right. We can do that. There it is. Pick that up. Hop up in here. Drop it off. Pick up the first bucket. First bucket. The first the best man. The better man. All right. Jump up in here. Boop. Pick up the second bucket. You? Yep. I'll tell you what, like I, at first, I, I didn't know how I was going to like the uh, the Xbox One controller over the keyboard, but grab the green hose. Another one of these. All right. Um, but I'm liking it. Like once you get used to it, you can kind of fly around the map pretty easily. Drop it in there. That looks right. Get in the truck. All right. Let's hop in the truck. Where are they, where are they taking us this time on this wild goose chase? Take the truck to the wash plant. Well, okay, that's where we were before. I don't know what the hell a magnetite separator is, but I have a feeling we're about to find out. The magnetite separator. All right. Ooh, careful. Don't want to spill all of our goodies out of the back of the thing. Put the magnetite separator next to the wash plant. Actually, you know, here, let's turn off the truck. Save gas. As you can see, the fuel is modeled. That's actually really cool. Magnetite separator. That's this big ass thing. Yeah, he's just out here manhandling it on his own. Put the magnetite separator next to the wash plant. Okay, so basically where the yellow thing goes here. Yep. Connect generator and magnetite separator with a yellow cable. Oh, okay, so we're going to feed it power from that. That makes sense. What happened to my plug? How'd that come off? Get back on there. Whoa, hello. Yeah, that thing complete, came complete, completely off. What the hell was that? All right, yellow. Come here. Nope. Nope. You. Yes, yellow. I assume it's yellow and yellow, so that probably makes sense. Yep, yellow. And there's the... You see the wire we're dropping down the ground? You can see where you're putting it. That's really cool. On the other side over here. Right there. Bam. Got power to it. Connect magnetite separator and water pump with green hose. Well, the water pump's over by the river. We have to go all the way back over the river? Apparently. All right, grab that. And water pump with green hose. Oh, the magnetite separator. Go over here. Oh, it's right there. I was like, where is this thing at? Oh, I can't see. Use. There we go. Oh, nice. All right, well. Can we run that all the way over here? Yeah, I guess so. It's another one of those magical green hoses that we know and love. Let's see if we can do a cross pattern on it that time. If I go over this way. And then we'll know if it's actually drawn it in like that. If it remembers where you kept it. Man, look at this. A nice trek all the way back. 
Like I said, this guy is like an Olympian. He sprints so fast. All right, where at? Oh, on the other side. To you. Use. There we go. Put the buckets under the magnetite separator. All right, I'm going to run back. Let's see if there's a big X pattern here, if it remembered it. If it did, that's a really neat... It did. Look at that. That's a cool detail to remember where you're laying hoes down. I wonder if that means something later on. Oh yeah, we left the lights on that excavator big time. Let's let's turn those off real fast. Lights were what? Headlights? Right on the D-pad. Bam. Got it. Don't want to kill the battery of that thing. We don't have to. Put the buckets under the magnetite separator. Buckets. Not that. Oh, the ones. We, oh, duh. The ones that we had in the truck. Okay, we got. Use dirt gold. Okay, so we have I'm trying to figure out how to magnetite separator works, but looks like it's gonna separate the dirt from the gold. So I'm all on board with that. There we go. Turn on the magnetite separator. Alright. I guess it's the big red button that says start. And there she goes. Take bucket from the wash plant. Okay, so we took all that dirt. Dropped it in there. This thing is, uh, this wash plant gives us this bucket. And there, okay, it goes up there, it looks like. In use. There she goes. Put the bucket under the wash plant. There it goes. Very cool. Put it back where we got it. All right. Wait until magnetite separator is. Okay, it's done. Processing the soil. Grab this bucket. Take the bucket with gold. All right. Pour the gold into the small pan. Oh, shit. Over there? Well, we'll take the truck. Let's take the truck. They're going to make it to go all the way back over there again. And this is what we have the truck for anyway, right? Yes. Start it up. Release the parking brake. Let's back it up this way. Let's go. Let's go a little long way here. Oh, look at that bulldozer over here. I wonder if we can drive that. That'd be awesome. That'd be really cool. Look at that thing. I bet you can. I bet you can. All right. Over here. Pop out. Let's leave the engine running. I'm sure they're going to have us run all the way back. Oh, hope we didn't spill the gold. All right. Back over to our scare. Back to square one. We'll place it over here. All right. Put the gold into the small pan. There we go pick up the small pan. So we're back to square one. Okay. So now we know how this works. Okay. And use a metal tub with water to start the panning. Now we know how the whole cycle works. Yep. We know how to agitate the water. Go down. Yep. Try to get some gold out of this sucker. Oh, there's some gold in there. There's some gold in there. Man, there hills. Repeat the process till the water is clear. Yep. I remember. There we go. There's some good gold in here. Look at that. Got a solid four nuggets there. Keep going. Until it tells us to stop, I suppose. Panning for that gold. Panning for that gold. We got four good nuggets. That looks like dirt. The others are. Keep doing it. All right. Yeah, we did it. Uh, take out the fragments of gold. Okay. Well, I remember we go into gold picking mode and then we can move this around to separate the dirt from the gold. Oh, there we go. Bam. Come here. Come here. Gotcha. A nugget of gold there. Man, this is a process to get gold, isn't it? It's pretty interesting because the only thing I knew about uh, gold mining was like from the 1900s style gold mining, not this. Looks like panning is still a, uh, a used process. Leave the gold picking mode. Okay. Put the bucket under the magnetite separator. All right. So X for you. Let's set you on that right there. Back to the magnetite separator. Can we drive this? I want to drive this. Enter. Yes. Yes, we can. Oh, yeah. And it fires right up. Look at that. Oh, it's out of, it's out of fuel. Uh, they're like, no, you can't drive that today. Nice try. Well, I tried. All right. Back to the magnetite separator. Parking brake off. 
I know to release the handbrake. I just got a little excited there to get back to the magnetite separator. We're making some money now. Look at that gold. We're at 0 0.30 ounces. All this work for 0 0.30 ounces. <laughs> Turn off this engine. Save our fuel. Uh, oh, shit. I forgot the bucket. I forgot the bucket. Damn it. That's my fault. Try this baby up. I forgot the bucket back at home. Back at home base. I got too excited about our uh, 0 0.30 ounces of gold. Can you blame me? We had a little bit of uh, audio lag there. Let's pull that e-brake. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Pull in there like a boss. All right. Yeah, I forgot to grab our bucket. Take you. Three in the back here. Can we jump up. Maybe we can just jump up in there with it. Yeah, you can. Look at that. That worked. Because physics, right? Skirt. This thing doesn't have very much. uh doesn't have a whole lot of torque. Well, actually, we have that diff lock on. Let's see if we turn it off. We'll probably get more. Let's see if we could, like, slide it. it. Doesn't seem like it wants to slide too much, though. There we go. Right there. Kill the engine. Put the bucket under the magnetite separator. I guess you just keep rinse and repeat this process, I suppose. Use. There we go. Okay. Go back to the excavator. Back to this guy. I think they're just showing us how this all works again. All right. And head towards the fuel tank. Oh, they're going to show us how to do this. All right, let's start the engine. Parking brake was A. There we go. Let's bring this guy. Let's bring this up and bring this in. We want to be uh, want to be safe when we're operating this thing, you know? Let's go to the outside view. Oh, check that out. There we go. Driving mode. There we go. Take this bad boy over here. There we go. Free camera mode. Driving that Minotaur. The Minotaur. Or Minotaur. Minotaur. Head towards the fuel tank. Don't smash into the fuel tank. We'll all die. Okay, all right there. Grab the steel rope. Boy, it's a hole to do. Let's go ahead and just turn the engine off for safety. Pull that parking brake. Back to the tents, as they call it. We'll grab the steel rope. Well, you have to manually do all this, too, it looks like. Steel rope. Oop. Not A, Jeff. X. There we go. Attach the fuel tank to the excavator's bucket. Hook the fuel tank with the steel rope. Oh, wow. Right there. Check that out. Whoa. Hook fuel tank with steel rope. Oh, we have to pull. We're going to carry this damn thing, it looks like. So I should have probably moved this a little bit better, right? Let me go ahead and say that that is the case. Yeah, we lost it. Where did it go? I don't know where it went. I'm going to move this guy. No, maybe not. I'm going to hit A and jump. Jump and get it up there. I don't know how you get it up there. Um, fuel tank with steel rope. Well, I wish I could. I'm trying to figure out how to do that. Exactly. Can we get back in this thing? Yeah, we can. I think we need to move this. I think that's the problem here. Because if we're going to have to use that, it would make sense that we need to be... Oh, there's the hook. We can see it now. Let's just keep it running. You, sir, come with me. Pick up. And there it is right there. All right, cool. Use. Can't touch. Rope is too short. What? Well, sorry you feel that way. We have to go, like, out further and around or something? Oh, it is just too short. Are they trying to teach us a valuable lesson here, I think? Yeah. That we need to get one that's longer. Just drop that on the ground. Is there a longer one or something? They're probably trying to teach us a lesson. All right, what about you? Use you. Over to you. To you. 
Nope. Can't attach hook. Rope too short. Well, I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to bring this guy up over this way. I think this might be the problem. More than likely, this is the issue uh, at hand. Go out this way. There we go. Just bring that up to where it can actually touch it. I'm trying to do it to where I can still use it, you know? Let's go into driving mode here. Parking brake. Yeah, I know. There we go. Like that, maybe? Back it up a little bit. There we go. Now we need to go back into digging mode. Bring it back to towards us. I'm just dragging that thing all over the place. Oh, shit. Forgetting how to use it. Oh, because I'm using that camera view. Oh, there it went. There we go. This is a whole to-do, man. This is not that easy. Go into driving mode so I can move the camera back to digging mode. All right. Maybe like right here. Maybe they'll be happy with that. Let's try this. Hook to there. Hook to there. Use. Got it. Hook fuel tank with steel rope. All right. So they want us to use the other one too, I think. All right. So you... Yep. Jump up there like that because we can. We'll attach you to this guy right here if we can. Bam. Got it. Hook fuel tank with steel rope. So the other side now. This doesn't seem like it's going to be very safe. All right. We need four points, obviously. That would make more sense. So, yeah. I think we screwed up. This guy here needs to go to the other one. Let's do that. Trying to get it right, just right, but I can't. Yep, there it was. Reach it. Reach for the stars, buddy. All right, I'm going to fix this real fast. All right, we'll move him over to here now, and then he should be happy. Yep, that makes a lot more sense like that. And then what now? More rope? Yep. So each cable is the same, it looks like. Or just one more they want. They want this one over here. So hook you to that, I think. Yep, use you to probably one of these other points. Nope, it won't fit that way, will it? Or do we have to connect the two together? I don't really understand how that works. Unless we have to move this whole thing over to the right. I'm assuming that's what we gotta do. All right, let's try that. Move that over there. Can you connect to that now? Let's see if it will. To the other side. Now, oh, you can go up on top. Well, that's a game changer. We just learned that. On up you go. That makes a world of a difference. Look at that. We can pick up the, the hook now, and we can go over to this. That's how you do it. Hook fuel tank with steel rope. That sounds like the Wilhelm scream. You hear that? That bird? It's like... <gasps> All right, so there's another steel rope left. I didn't see any more over here. Uh, oh, yeah, there's more over here. Okay. Yeah, now we know we can just go up the ladder. That's That would have been helpful in the beginning, right? Yeah, it definitely would be. But now we know. Use the ladder to hook you up to you. Got it. Look at that. Get into the excavator. Like that. Oh, my God. Okay. Put the fuel tank next to the loader. All right. On up she goes. We did it. Like that. Go into driving mode. Whoa. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, that's why. We, remember we tried to get in that loader earlier and we couldn't do it? Well, now we know why. We had to fuel it up. This is crazy. Look at those physics for the rope. That is actually really cool. Oh, no. Oh, up she goes. Uh, yeah. Excavator mode. Is it up higher? There we go. Like that. Back to driving mode. Be careful going up this hill, man. I don't want to roll over on us. We'd die. 
there's anybody at the camp, you probably won't want to leave now because, yeah, this is dangerous as, as hell. All right, so maybe drop it right there. All right, let's try this. Bring it down nice and smooth. Ba-boom. Oh, nope. I'm going to go the other way. There we go, like that. There we go. Release the slack. Oof. All right, we did that. Er, no, they weren't happy with that. They want it closer. Yeah. They want it closer. Well, they're not telling me to to unrelease to release it yet. You know. Let's see. Dr driving mode. It's the cameras, but I want driving mode here. There we go. Go like that, and then we'll go back to this mode. I move it back this way. I'm gonna make it nice and straight here. There we go. Whoop. Gotta go real easy with this stuff. Nope, the other way, bud. Oh my god, this thing wants to just kind of. It's got a mind of its own, let me tell you. And it backs up. That is dangerous. That thing is so heavy. <gasps> Careful. Careful, bud. Okay, you don't like that. Let's try this. Up you go. Maybe this way. I don't know what they want from us as far as, like, where to set it. They're very particular about it, though, aren't they? Yes, they are. All right, let's try driving mode again. Nope. Okay, go back up. No, up. How do we bring that arm back up? Shit. That way. Okay. Now to driving mode. That's got to be good enough, right? One would think it would be. There we go. Bring it down. I mean, that's on it. That is literally on it. All right. Can we get out now? I think they want us to uh, release it. I think that's what it is. They're just not really telling us much information about this. Come on. That needs to, No, it needs to go the other way, dude. Other way. Up, release, like that. There we go. Like that. Come on, other way. This is pretty difficult. There we go, right there, right there, right there. All right, just lay it down. Like that. That looks good. Now let's go remove it, because it's not telling us to do that, but I'm... Yeah, detach ropes from the excavator now. All right, we figured it out. Had to be just right, though. Okay, so you... From you, go bye-bye. No, just detach them. It doesn't matter. You can keep them on still, it looks like. Go over here, remove you. And then remove you. All right, we did it. Oh, detach them completely, it looks like. Yep. Throw that on the ground. Boy, it's a whole... It's a working... Sim, like a job simulator, I'll tell you what. That's cool, though. I like the attention to the detail. It gives you a lot to do. Bring that out. Throw it on the ground. There we go. I'm going to hop down. There we go. Can't get hurt by it. Grab the fuel gun. Got it. And plug the fuel gun into the loader's tank. Of course, I made it way too close to it. Nope, we got by. Right there. Oh. Bam, got it. Wait until the tank is full. All right, we will wait for the tank to get full. There it goes. Fuel done. Pick that up. Guess we put it back where we got it. Right over here. Fuel gun onto the tank. Yep, there we go. Awesome. Open the loader hatch. Look at this. Whoa. Detach the fuel filter. Take new fuel filter. Okay. Is that what they just gave us? Oh, I bet it's somewhere else. It's probably at the shed. Yep, that's what it is. So the fuel filter is bad on it. We'll know that next time. 
All right, I'm gonna turn that thing off. It's driving me nuts how loud it is. Jesus, you're loud. There we go. We'll just run over here and grab the fuel filter. Grab the fuel filter. Man, this uh, tutorial is long, but it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, run over here. And what do we got? Yep, fuel filter there. Run back over here. We've got to be close to completing this. Now I just want to complete it, you know? It's a new goal in life to complete the tutorial of Gold Rush the game. Throw this in here. New fuel filter. Done. Close the hatch. Boom. And move the pile of dirt to the wash plant. Get into the loader. Fantastic. On up she goes. In we go. Look at that. Now we have fuel this time. We can start it. Park and brake. And off we go. Oh, nice. Look at how that thing drives. That is awesome. The inside view. That's actually pretty nice. Drive in, drive to the big pile of dirt. Okay. So I said drive into it. I assume it drives like the excavator, like excavator. You have to like go into the other one. All right. Load as much dirt as you can. All right. Is that what it is? Wheel loader? Yep. There it is. Controls for this. Arm up, arm down, blade up, blade down. Okay. I need a better view there. There we go. Ah, okay, like this. Okay, uh, forward we go. Nope, didn't mean to hit X. Meant to hit B or Y. Y, that's what it is. Like that. We did. Now unload it to the wash plant. Alrighty. This is pretty awesome, man. Not gonna lie. This is pretty badass. Bring that up in the air. There we go. Camera view on this one's a little weird. Unload the dirt into the wash. Oh, so they're showing you you can use two different ways. Let's go around this way so I don't smash into anything that's valuable over there. And we don't want to lose all that gold we just worked hard for. All right, on up she goes. We'll bring it forward like this and then probably drop with the blade, the blade down like this. There it goes. Oh, that's the worst job I've ever seen. We did it though. Acquire one ounce of gold. All right, so they want us to keep working, I guess. I suppose that's what they want us to do, but it's going to take a while to do that. Uh, if that's the case, let's try something here. Let's drop this guy down the bucket and then we'll go to parking brake engine off and hop out. I assume they want us to use this whole ordeal here because we just dropped that in there. You know, we should have some in here and we do We'll grab that. Put that guy up here and we should get some gold out of this. There we go. Magnetite separator, finish processing soil. Oh, no, I want to put that back on this. We I mean, now this works now. There we go. Picked it up. Is that it? What's in there? Yep. I got something in there. Put that in the truck. We're going to take that back over and pan for the gold. And I think we're almost done. I think we're almost done here. Gonna be a gold rush pro at the end of this. Tell you what. I love how we just like casually drive this thing like it's nothing. One ounce of gold. It's going to take a little bit of time to do that, but we'll be all right. We understand how it all works now. All righty. Pull that e-brake there. Skirt. Very nicely done. Run over here. We're getting impatient. We want that gold. Oh, there we go over here. And do the same thing, I guess. Yep, like grab the, the, the bucket or the pan here. Throw that right there. Grab our 
bucket here. Throw it in here. So we dump that onto the ground. Yep, into that guy. Move the bucket back over here. Grab this guy. Boop. Got it. And do a dunkaroonie. Down it goes. Into the water. On up. Pan for it. There's a lot of gold there. That looks pretty good. Well, just one at least. Really? That's all there is? That's how it works, though. Sometimes you just... You, you only get one little thing of it. Yep, looks like just one, from what I can tell. All right, let's go to the picker mode. Move that out of the way. Oop, oop, right there, right there. And grab that, like that. That's going to take a little bit of time. I'll tell you that right now. 0.34 ounces of gold, really? Yep, it's going to take a while. That is going to take a while. We understand how it works, though, now. So that's good. We do, we do. Bam. Well, that's pretty fantastic stuff. All right, cool. Pick that up, bring it back to the truck. I mean, it's going to take a long time to acquire one ounce of gold, but we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do here. All right, I got more there. Let's dump that into this guy. Whoa, brakes, brakes, brakes. Nice and easy here, bud. There we go, like that. Oop. Dump that down. Oh, the other way. The other way, you dumbass. Yeah, back it up. A little bit more straight here like that right there maybe yep right there go forward Whoop. there it goes a lot dropped in there on that one all right cool uh bring the blade back up back it up bring it to the ground I think I only put so much in there at a time, so we'll we'll try this. Oh my god, look at all the dirt coming out of that. It remembers all of that. That's pretty cool. Yep, you over to here to here. Well, there's a lot in that one. Shit, I forgot the other bucket. Damn it. Oh no, did we just lose all of that? I think we did. Pretty sure we did. Yep. Is there more in here? There better be. Nope, there's not. Well, shit. Did we get any gold in there? Nope. Snooze, you lose. All right, guys. Well, I'm not going to get to one ounce of gold. It's just taken so long, but you just basically rinse and repeat the entire process. But that's going to do it for the first look of Gold Rush the game. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. We can always jump into free mode and mess around with the different vehicles and stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.